Pollinators like butterflies and bees are some of the smallest creatures, but they have one of the most important jobs. They are responsible for so much of our food supply, but in return, we've destroyed a lot of their habitat. Two Works to You anchor Scott Thompson takes us on the road to TCC's Southeast Campus, showing us how students are building a monarch butterfly way station. Okay, here we go. Working to build a habitat from scratch isn't easy. With the amount that we're losing, I think we're definitely doing some good here. But when your classmates show up, some of them committed to saving butterflies, some just needing extra credit, the work goes a bit okay, quicker. I think we've got enough dirt. The satisfaction's a bit richer. Everyone can agree that pollinators, especially butterflies, threatened as they are, are worth the effort. Oh, sorry, Dad. <laughs> I think it's their fragility, and um, they're beautiful, and they're colorful, and they're a reminder of of spring. The biology students here at Tulsa Community College's Southeast Campus got behind the effort to build this Monarch way station in a big way. Mark Swanson is one of their professors. Because I always want to get them away from their cell phones, get outside when I talk to my students, I ask them, do you go outside and see things? And so that's one thing I really harp on a lot, get them outside. So just kind of tap them. Mission accomplished, at least this morning. The monarch's only food source is the milkweed plant, so a handful of students cobbled together a collection of seeds from a wide variety of milkweed and planted them over the winter in the school's lab. We kind of froze some of them, um, like the seeds, put them in the freezer. Some of them were in the fridge for about, some of them were seven days, um, seven, nine days, 30 days. Milkweed seeds are not the easiest to grow. The germination rate isn't always the highest. No, a lot of them didn't grow at first. We were a little discouraged. Then we saw um, one start to grow and we were like, oh my goodness, it's so cute. And the cuteness multiplied as scores more sprouted. And suddenly they had flats filled with milkweed seedlings and all kinds of other native flowering plants to attract other butterflies and bees and hummingbirds. And alongside the pond, they added prairie grasses, big and little blue stem, Indian grass. Oh, perfect. All of them go in with great hope attached. I hope that they're really big um, and growing, not, not, I really hope they're not dead. <laughs> That's my hope right now. <laughs> There's a lot of hope here. Butterflies have that effect on us. So my mom, uh, she really loved butterflies, and so every time like a butterfly pla passed, like she thought it was like a really special occasion and would always point it out to me. There you go. <laughs> And the bet is that come summer, there will be a lot of pointing going on here, a lot of beauty, a lot of hope. Scott Thompson, two works for you.